I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to apply double angle formula. The question here is use double angle formula to rewrite each expression. We have four expressions here and then we have four more expressions to go. All these expressions are in sine of x. So we'll write the double angle formula first and then continue with the question. Uh, you know sine of 2a is equals to 2 sine a cos a, correct? So that is the formula to be applied. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. The first one here is sine of 4a. I could write sine of 4a as sine of 2 times 2a, correct? I mean 2 times 2x. So as you can see, a for us is 2x and therefore I could write this as 2 times sine of 2x times cos of 2x, correct? So that is how you have to do this question. Let's do with sine 3x now. Sine 3x could be written as, let me write it here, sine of we have to write 2 times something. So 2 times what? It is 2 times 3 over 2x. Perfect. Sine of 2 times 3 over 2x is sine 3x. And now we can apply this double angle formula and write this as 2 times sine 3 over 2x cos 3 over 2x. I hope you have got the concept correct. Similarly, here, sine half x can be written as sine of 2 times what? 2 times 1 fourth of an x or x over 4, either way. And now, we can apply the formula again. a is x over 4, right? 2 times a will give us 2 times sine x over 4 times cos x over 4. The last one here is sine x, which could be written as sine of 2 times what? x over 2, correct? So I could write this as twice sine half x times cos x over 2, right? So like this, you have to do it. A practice question could be sine of 2 over 3x, correct? So let this be a practice question for you. So let's move on and I'll take up uh, some angles, trigonometric expressions in cosine now. So in cosine we have four of these. Now as you know cos function could be written in different ways. Cos 2a could be written as cos square a minus sine square a which is also equals to 2 times cos square s minus 1 and that is also equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a, right? So we can apply any of these formulas when we rewrite the given expressions using double angle formulas, right? So we'll try to use them in these examples. Cos 4x, I could write this as cos of 2 times 2x, 2 times 2x, right? Now cos of 2 times 2x, I could use this formula for example and write this as cos square 2x minus sine square 2x, correct? Now in this example, which is cos of 5x, I can write this as cos of 2 times 5 over 2x, right? Let me use the second formula this time, which is twice cos square a is 5 over 2x or 5x over 2 minus 1. Now, in this particular case, if I take 2 common, I get cos of 2. What do I get here? I get 1 over 6x, correct? If I use the third formula, 
I could write this as 1 minus 2 times sine square a is 1 sixth of x or x over 6. Is it fine? Cos x, I could write this as equal to cos 2 times x over 2. Let me use the very first formula again, which is cos square a minus sine square a. So I could write this as cos square x over 2 minus sine square x over 2. So you have seen that with cosine function, you can use any of these three formulas. All three are double angle formulas, right? So let's take a few examples with tan also. So here we have two examples with tan. And as you know, tan 2a is equals to 2 tan a divided by 1 minus tan square a, correct? So we'll use this formula in both the cases. We could write this as tan 2 times 4x. Applying the formula, we could write this as 2 times tan 4x divided by 1 minus tan square 4x. In the second case, I could write this as tan 2 times so if I take 2 common, then I am left with 1 over 3 or x over 3. And I could apply this formula and write it as 2 times tan of x over 3 divided by 1 minus tan square x over 3. So that is the direct application of double angle formulas. And let's move on and do some more questions based on double angle. I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. Share my videos and if you like, it will be great. Thank you and all the best.